Hola. ¿Qué tal vos? Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. We were so strange that just the two of us are here. <laughs> well, no. Now we, now we are more. We're four. <laughs> we're four of us. Hey. Uh, how are you guys? It's hot here in Sudan. It seems like it's going to rain, but oh, it's hot. yeah, I know, I know. It's um, it well, it, in my house, it, it it was raining, um, but it stopped raining. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see what happens because uh, I don't know. It it didn't really it it didn't feel like it rained completely. Like it felt like um. Like there was still some more left, yeah. Here I I can hear I trueno como se dice thunder no como se dice trueno thunders thunders okay a lot of thunders and that is uh, something that I don't like because I know that it, even though if there is no rain uh -huh. they can fell down is that correct the, the way to, the air went get kind. You mean the thunder or the lightning? The thunder. It doesn't matter if it's not raining. They can no, die. Th thunder or lightning? Because thunder is just the, the sound. Entonces, no, el, el the rayo, lightning. Rayo, los rayos. Ah, okay. Lightning. Uh -huh. Vaya, eso pueden caer. <laughs> eso yeah. pueden caer. Y uh -huh. caen en seco. Sí, es cierto, es cierto. Um, yeah, you got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. That's yes. true. That's true. So tell me, guys, how was your weekend? For me, it was uh, really good because my family uh, is, uh, um, they came to lunch. It's uh, not uh, common that we reunite all of us to eat at least once in a month, but uh, we had like uh, let me see, like three months that we didn't have that opportunity. So it was good. Oh, nice! It's been a good time. How how many people were were together? Uh, we were ten. Ten. Ten of you. That's good. That's a nice number. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm I'm glad you were able to enjoy your yes. weekend. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Finally, I didn't just sleep <laughs> something different right huh? yeah <laughs> okay good what about the others did you do anything interesting on the weekend other than sleeping no nobody did anything interesting or... no not at all oh my goodness really Nothing, nothing at all. Wow, okay. So nobody, I don't know, went to the movies or shopping or to the beach, nothing? I went to a wedding. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. What, what, who was getting married? Uh, a friend. Oh, okay, okay. Good, nice, very, very nice. And uh, where was the wedding? Uh, Sweet Magnolias is the local. Sweet Magnolia. Sweet Magnolia. Mm, where is that? Um, Angel Design is a, a local for a dress, wedding dress and and Embracement dress too. Bridesmaid. Uh, bridesmaid. Maid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, okay, nice. And next to the the, the place uh, is the local Magnolia. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's nice. How many people were there at the wedding? I don't know, maybe eighteen. Eighteen people. Eighteen. No. Eight. 19, 
Eighteen. 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 Eighteen
Ah, Josué, a, a new a new atmosphere. <laughs> okay. Right okay, now, it's okay. Thank you for connecting, Josué. I really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I'm Francisco. No. Okay. All right, jury. Jury, jury. No. Okay. Uh, Luis. Luis, Luis, no, okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro, no, okay. Um, Natalia, Natalia, no, okay. Um, Wendy, 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 okay. Um, what about Warner? Present teacher. Ah, welcome, Warner. Okay. Uh, Yvonne? Present teacher. All right, welcome Yvonne. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Enriquez. Edgar Enriquez. No. Okay, Eli. Eli, no. Uh, Jose Montes. Present. All right, welcome. Thank you. And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Welcome. Okay, very Thank good you. guys. Excellent. Okay, I wanted to mention something. Um, what I wanted to mention was that um, it, there are some people that are a little bit below the average of where you should be at this moment in terms of attendance. So I really want to um, make emphasis in the fact that I, it's very important that you connect um, on time. I know that sometimes there are certain situations where they, you know, we are, for example, we had to leave late our workplace, you know, or things like that. But for example, you've seen it. And in fact, for example, right now it's happening. That's the, our, um, co our classmates, they connect even, uh, you know, with uh, with their cell phone while they're driving, while they're, you know, they're getting home. And, you know, that is going to make a difference, right? Uh, when it comes to the, to getting your, your, um, your 80% attendance, right? So, um, like I said, I understand that things happen like that, that sometimes we're not able to be um, at home when we want to. But if you guys can do like that extra, um, you know, work and, and, and connect um, even with your cell phone, with your, your internet data. I know, I understand sometimes we don't have internet data, but if you, um, if you can find a way to connect, that would be better because we don't want to um, be like, I don't want to be rushing you at the end and saying, you know, you have to connect, you have to connect because, you know, you're not going to have make it on time. Um, you're not going to have the 80%. I don't want to be, you know, pushing you that way. And I think it's too much of a pressure for you guys. So if you guys can, you know, do it on your own, we are pretty much at the middle of our course, right? Um, so you still have half of the course. Like we're, we're literally 50% right now. So um, I would really appreciate you guys if you can um, go like the extra mile and, and try to connect on time, okay? Um, and yeah, and if there's anything else that I can help you with, of course, you guys know that I'm always here, okay? Okay, um, any questions, any comments that you guys wanna make? Teacher. Yeah. Yes, Andres? Andres? I guess he's having internet problems. Yeah, maybe that's what he wanted to tell me. That he was having internet problems. Okay, well, anyway, um, anything else that you guys want to talk about? Um, comments? Anything at all? Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Oh, by the way, um, before anything, guys, I wanted to um, ask you guys, um, how do you feel with the, um, how do you feel right now with the platform? Um, you know, are you able, or, like, remember that basically you have until tomorrow to finish to um, all of uh, um, unit two. 
Are you guys having any problems, something I can help you with? Just remember, remember what we talked about, I think it was on Friday, um, that there are certain words that, especially with their, they have the contraction. Unfortunately, you're just, the best thing you can do is just literally copy and paste because um, probably if the platform is not detecting your apostrophe in, in from, your, from your computer. And um, the other one is like the, the, um, the question mark. So if there's like a question mark, um, you can also just copy and paste, okay? And that should do it, okay? So if you guys are having a problem with the platform, that should help. Anything else? So for tomorrow, we need to be complete until the 2.14. Right. Yeah, all of uh, units of section two should be complete. Okay. Any other? I have questions? a question. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yes. When will this course will end? This course is programmed to end after the vacation. Let me just tell you exactly when it's supposed to be ending. It's supposed to end on the seventeenth of August. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we have the, the August vacation, for the first week of August, then we come back for one more week and two days. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. Okay, any other questions that you guys have? Yes, yeah, so the last homework that you should be doing is uh, 2.14, yes. 2.14 is for tomorrow. So you guys want to ask me? No? Okay. All right. And I want to ask you guys, um, how do you feel there with the course? Um, any, any questions, any comments, suggestions? Uh, remember that, of course, this is uh, you know, we're here to help you as much as possible. So if there's something that we can do to help you, uh, you know, of course we're, we're here, we're available. So you guys want to have one, do you have any comments, uh, suggestions you want to make about the course? No? No? Not at all. Don't be shy. You know, but like I said, this is your course, right? This is the idea is for us, like, like this course. Yes, I'm the teacher, but in the end, you guys are the ones who like, like this, this course is for you, right? Not for me, right? I already, I, I, you know, I already know the language, you know, so what I want is to be able to help you. So, but in order to be able to help you, it's also important to be able to have your input, right? And say, you know, oh, I, you know, um, I feel this, I feel that, um, you know, comments, uh, suggestions, I, I would like to see this, I would like to see that, you know, and if we can do it, we will, right? Some things, unfortunately, it's not possible, but if we can, of course, why not? Anything you guys want to mention? No? I just want to mention that I feel comfortable because okay. I feel comfortable when I ask you about the pronunciation of some words okay. and you always are willing to help us. It's like a part of all the process you have on a daily basis. I like that. Okay. For me, it's okay the, the way how you are give, teaching us. Okay. Good. Okay. I don't know the rest. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, that's, um, that's important, right? Um, to have everybody like not everybody has the same opinion right and that's okay too right we don't all have to you know fit the same mold right so it's okay or if you guys want also um you know you don't have to say it if you're like feeling a little uncomfortable to say it you know in front of everybody on camera or whatever you guys can always send me a little message you know whether it's in the in the WhatsApp group, or you want to do it like more personalized, that's fine too. Okay. All right. Um, so, you know, the, the important thing is that you, I want you guys to feel open to be able to, um, to say whatever you need for, uh, 
to, to cover your needs, right? That's what's important, okay? Okay, so that just, I wanted to ask you that because we're precisely we're in the, in the middle of our course. So we still have time to do anything else if you guys need it, okay? Okay, so having said that, um, let's continue guys. We're gonna start with our PowerPoint and please let me know if um, once again, you can see it. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, so this is the intermediate module one, of course. Um, and this is a uh, unit two, we continue with unit two procedures. And today is Monday, July 26, 2021. It's day 14, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. Um, all right, and let's continue. So, what we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to like, do a little review of last class. So we're going to work in pairs in your assigned breakout rooms. Exchange the index you created in the previous page with your classmate. Okay. Remember that we created uh, an index, an index manual. Do you guys remember that? We did this on yes, Thursday. We did it on Thursday. Remember? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So what's going to happen is. You're going to be working with a partner and you're going to exchange that information. Okay. So you're going to give your, your partner the index and your, your partner is going to give you their index. Then give suggestions about how to improve it. Okay. So once, once, um, once your partner has shared their, um, their index with you, you're going to give suggestions on how to how the, your partner can improve their um, index. And then your partner is going to do the same for you. You're going to share your index and your partner is going to say what you, they think would be better to or how they can improve, how you can improve it. Okay. And the important thing here is use would be better or any alternative expressions. Now this we did learn on Friday. Do you guys remember? Would be better and the alternative expressions. Do you guys remember this? Yeah? Yes or no? Do you want me to show it to you just for you guys to to as, as a reminder? Yeah, as a reminder. Okay, stop sharing I'll, and I'm gonna show you the one from Friday. So the idea with this activity is. I want you to use what we learned on Friday. That's the idea. Okay. Um, okay, so this is it. Um, tell me, please, when you can see it. Okay, so we learned this. You guys can see it, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so, um, so we have would better can be used with be, right? It's actually would be better. And how we're gonna use it is most of the time we're going to be, um, using this structure, subject plus would be better and then the infinitive. When I say the infinitive, we're talking about the two infinitive. Remember we talked about that? We use the two infinitive. And the two infinitive is the one that uses the word two in it, okay? So, so we have to add, so I added over here the word two, right? Because it's the two infinitive. Okay. All right, so it's a two infinite. So example, it would be better to let employees decide what procedures to exchange, right? It would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. So when I'm talking about um, the two infinitive, I mean, so the two infinitive, I mean this, to let, 
to, to let, right? Okay. And we also saw these um, alternative expressions. Um, would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better to? And would it, it would be good if, right? So those were the ones that we that we saw on Friday, right? And I also gave you some expression, some some examples. Oops. Okay, well, that's it. So this is just a review for you guys to remember what we saw on Friday. Does this jog up your memory? Yeah. Yes, okay. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys understand that expression, jog up your memory? Is that a new expression for you? Yeah. Okay. Jog up your memory. Okay, jog up your memory. It literally, it's like think 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 about a person that goes for a jog. So it, somebody goes out for a jog, jogging is like, like a slow run. So it means that they start to be active, right? So jog up your memory means that you're making your memory be active. Okay? Got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, so this is okay. We understand this. We remember this. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, well. no problem. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna go back to my presentation from today, which was this one okay so remember it says here use would be better or alternative expressions so that's the one we just saw right now and finally explain the reason of your suggestions to the class okay so you're going to make those suggestions to your classmate and then you're going to be sharing your ideas with the class okay so any questions about our instructions? No? Okay, all right. So in that case, I'm going to start the groups, the pairs. Um, let's create the breakout rooms. Um, Okay, just, I just want to make sure that you are not with the same person that you did your index with, okay? So, Ana Claudia, do you remember if the, you worked on the index with Andres or Josue? No, uh, to create the index, I worked with uh, Luis. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, Werner? Um, no do remember. You, do you you don't remember? Oh, did you work with Yvonne? Um, did you work with Yvonne? No, teacher. That day I was in trouble with my internet oh. and to create my index, I I made for my for my own. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. That's fine then, Javi. Did you work with um, Anna, Luis, and Irene? With Luis and Irene? And Anna Claudia. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. All right, Haiti, did you work with Jose Ayala? Mm, I don't think so. No, okay, perfect. What about Edgar um, and Hiva? Did you work with Irvin? I, I I don't remember to make the index. Uh, uh, do you remember who you worked with? 
Yes, pero um, sorry, but I don't, I don't, I don't uh, remember. Okay, well, if you don't remember, you probably didn't work together. So um, I'm going to open up the rooms right now. I'm going to give you, I would say, 10 minutes. I think 10 min in 10 minutes, you are able to, um, to give suggestion to your partner and your partner can give them to you, right? Remember, you have to use would be better or any other alternative. All right, so here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Can you hear us, Andres? I guess he's freezing again. Andres? I think Have so. internet problems. Yes, he says. Okay, so let's uh, work just with Josué. Maybe he will connect later. Uh, well, Jose, I guess right now you don't have <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I will tell you the index. We've been working with uh, Irene and Javid and Luis. Uh, we find out that. Just give me a second, Ana Josue, can you can you answer Ana Claudia or like, are you driving right now in this moment? No, oh, no, I. You're just a passenger. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't I don't know how this how do you say uh, stationar the vehicle. Oh, okay. Ah. Okay, so you have parked your vehicle. Yeah, I have parked my vehicle. So he my... can talk. <laughs> yeah. Right, perfect. Yeah, I just don't want you to have an accident or anything. Aha, uh -huh, distraction. <laughs> 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 oh, because the teacher was asking what it is. No, right? No, we can't. Oh. Okay, so good. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, so continue working then. Ah, okay, okay. Well, Jose, eh, Luis, and Javi, and with Irene, and we made a difference. We eh, decided that it's better to work first in the individual. Okay, for me, number one is prevention of accidents and safety. Number two, setting a table. Number three, addressing customers. Number, oh, number four, uh, decanting wine. Number five, getting to know the menu. Number six, addressing kitchen personnel. Seven, following the schedule. Eight, about tips and taxes. Nine, requesting a chief change. And 10, dress code. Do you guys have any questions about this activity? Um, me, no, teacher. No? Okay. No. All right, Warner, do you have any questions about the? No, teacher. I... Remember. Okay. All right. Okay. In, in my case, um, the index. Uh, What's your number one? Me, 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 number one. The idea. Okay. I would like. As I said, yeah, I would like. So the idea is to give suggestion. Who's, whose index is this? Is this your habit or is it? Okay. No, it's, it's 
I was. Okay. I suggest for a change um, uh, the cutting wine. Um, the because um, the next to to setting a table because the cat the cutting wine is maybe a a process is a process a produce process. Uh, step by step processes. Uh, step by step and 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 setting a table too okay. and i try to suggest that but i i try to to do <laughs> i okay. will uh, be better okay not i would it would the uh, it's it would be better it's wool it's wool all the time is it will it would be better why uh, because you're talking about the situation would be better. Oh, okay. Because if you're saying I would be better, is yo sería mejor. Ah, no, es como yo te sugiero. No. No. Okay. So better is sería mejor. So okay. you can, that's why it's it would be better. Sería mejor la situación, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, it will be better to move uh, the cutting wine. Uh, next, or como sería en ese caso? Next to, uh, o luego de. After that. After that, setting a table. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Do you say that the canting one, why it will be better in the number five? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Because is a process to like sitting a table. Okay. Um, when you finish to give me your suggestion. For to me, okay, I, yeah. grew, I order by for whatever action that they make on the business. So mm -hmm. I guess that will be better uh, change the number for the number two. Then your number three. And that's that's cool. See at the table, uh, setting the table, is, it's okay because you need to prepare your area. You need to prepare the area where your customer is gonna be assisting. Uh, so that this is okay. Where your, your customer is going to be what, did you say? Oh, um, the customer need, need to be safe on the area that you will assist? Um, that you will serve. Oh, that you will serve. Yeah. Okay. Because assist sounds more like uh, that somebody needs help. Okay. okay? But, the, but in a restaurant, it's not so much you need help, but you need someone to serve. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And the addressing customer, I guess that one, two, three, then I guess that we need to talk about the Tresco, so it will be better number four, because uh, maybe your employee be has better. to... Oh, the dress code, it will be better number four for me because uh, you need that your employee mm -hmm. dress, um, how do you say that? Adequate for the, for the place or Proper. for the business? Appropriate. Properly? No, appropriate. 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 Okay. Not create, it's pre it. 
appropriate. Uh, can you say it again? Appropriate. Appropriate. Yes. Appropriate. Appropriate. It. Not not eight. It. Appropriate. Mm -hmm. Appropriate. Appropriate. It. Not eight. It. It. Appropriate. Appropriate. It. Think of it like it, like the like like he, she, it. So appropriate, okay. not appropriate. 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 It. Appropriate. It. Appropriate. Mm -hmm. And how would be the sentence? Um, the personal has to dress appropriate. Appropriate, yes. Uh -huh. Appropriate. Actually, it, to be um, grammatically correct, it's the personnel has dressed appropriately. Appropriately. Mm -hmm. Appropriately. 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 Mm -hmm. Appropriately. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in a moment in the breakout room. Okay. So just okay. Continue, okay. Care. continue. Thank working. you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. So the number four. And one local, me, yeah. I sell the battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. I oh, okay. In English, uh -huh. okay. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Yeah. This is my business. Yeah. <laughs> I, had a, I had a older house. It's so difficult to live in El Salvador. So difficult. It's difficult. difficult to be wrong, did you say? Yeah, difficult because you have to uh, uh, demolition. In this house, this house was one, 100 years old. No, 80 years old. 80 yes. years old? Yes, yes. 80 years old. What, what, to... what house? The house where you have your business? Yes. This was a... a uh, how old this 80 years old? I'm a head to the monitor to have a permission. Uh, uh, a permission. permission, yes, permission. to have to get permission about this to change ministerial culture. Cultural ministry, mm -hmm. it's a good problem because it's a they they, they say that uh, patrimonio cultural, it's so problem, so problem, but it's like I can cultural. I can do it. Cultural I can, heritage. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Hmm. I can I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can do it. I, I began to build in I remember seven years old or six years old, yes. Seven or six years old. I began to build to, to build it. Huh. Yes. This is my business. I try, but before I am not. I may I I never think that I will have a business. I never think. Hmm. I never thought. I never saw. You never thought. Uh, I never saw. I was a manager in a company. Life, life uh, gives you surprises. Uh, ne, I need it. Need it. Good. For the minute I, I have to do it. I have a good problem when I work it. A good problem. I, I was a manager um, in one place. And I had a problem with my bus. Oh. I, I worked here 15 years old. 10? 10 years old? 15 years old. Oh, 15. 15. I worked here 15 years old, and I had a good problem with my last bus. For this, I had to make my business. Right. Uh, so so yeah. my, life, my life is so difficult. Some but, uh, life just takes you places you never thought you would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I am happy. Yeah, that's the important <laughs> thing. That's the important thing. By the way, are you guys finished? Did you talk about how to improve the index? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll see you in the main room, OK? OK. OK, teacher. Thanks.
the teacher is in the house. Teacher is in the house. <laughs> yes. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. So, hey, by the way, guys, what happened to our classmates? So we're missing so many today. Yes. Uh, you guys know anything about other people that have not connected? No? It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bueno. All right. Let's continue then. Um, all right. So tell me. Um, all right. We'll start one by one. Eh, Ana Claudia. Eh, mm -hmm. Yes, I was working right now with Andres and Josue. Okay, good. So did, what, what suggestions did you give them? No, I, uh, we received suggestions, <laughs> but we decide and we agree to follow up and we like the way how Josue's team made the index because they divide in two parts, the manual, one is for human resources and the other is for operations uh, things. And for human resources, uh, they have, uh, three, diff just uh, three, three situations. One is uh, dress code. The other one is uh, following the schedule, and the other is uh, requesting how to request a, a shift chain. And the rest is part of the operation in the production area. <laughs> and uh, I like we like the idea with Andres because it's simple for someone to follow up. And also thinking in how to create a manual is easy for an employee to follow up just to big structure and then make sure they understand what part, what belongs to each one. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh -huh. And we agree to, to adopt, to adopt the uh, Josue's mo uh, index model. Okay, okay. All right, sounds good, sounds good. All right. Um, okay, let's talk to Warner and Yvonne. What suggestions did you guys give each other? Uh, okay, uh, we share uh, the index of each other. And I make only one suggestion to Warner. And I that, that I think uh, prevention of accidents and safety uh, would be better in the first place because uh, prevention of accidents uh, is important not only for the personnel, uh, I think it's important to prevent any accident to the customers too, but only that suggestion. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. You wanna add something, Warner? Or you got? Uh, no teacher, my guess uh, the whole uh, to find a uh, sugerence. I think the world Suggestion. order was quite similar to a list that I have. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, all right. Um, Javi and Ivan, tell me what you guys talked about. Uh, the index, the Ivan index is a, a great index, but I suggest um, it will be better to move the cutting wine um, after that sitting at a table because it's a process um, to like sitting at a table. Uh, the waiters um, do step for everything pro processes, processes. And processes. Processes. processes, processes. And the other, um, it will be better to move following a schedule next to dress code uh, because the staff uh, need to, to have um, accessibility to the schedule normality and restaurant schedules. Sounds good. Very, very good, Javi. Uh, Ivan? Did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, first, I was or I ordered by my index 
by importance items, but the causings make me a uh, few su suggestions uh, following the order of the processes of the restaurant. Okay. And I told her uh, that her index is pretty pretty good and perhaps uh, she divide in in two sections the index one for the operation of the restaurant and another for the human resources that's all all right sounds good excellent all right now how about haiti and jose ayala Okay, the Heidi made a good job about uh, her index. Uh, just I suggest uh, like five change. Okay. So I I told you I told her that it would be better talk about with the employees about about tips and taxes because okay. all the people that work in a restaurant. Uh, wants to know what's going to get the percent percent I guess is the pronunciation is the right percentage percentage that's the word that I was looking for uh -huh. so so the the people that are working on in that kind of 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 restaurant uh -huh. all the time want to know what about the tips and taxes so i advise that it will be better be the second one and then uh change the other that it's really good let me see maybe second one three it's okay okay the number three is setting the table so it's okay the number four, maybe it will be better to talk about dress code because uh, the employee has to be appropriate uh, dressed. Okay. Uh, for, uh, appropriately. Uh, appropriately. Appropriately. Appropriately dressed to um, serve at the customer. Okay. And then the number. Um, See, uh, change the number six that uh, she has mm -hmm. because it will be better that your employee know what kind of dish are you serve to the customer because if you don't know uh, what kind of dish do you prepare, maybe you cannot suggest any uh, dish to the customer when oh. the customer requests for it. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, I guess. And I guess if I'm not mistaken, Jose, I guess you didn't, did you have a chance to do the index? Or yes. no, you, you did do it. Oh, okay, okay, so. No, I, I, I do it when I was working with uh, her on Perth. Oh, okay, okay. So Haiti, did you have an opportunity to give suggestions for um, Jose? Uh, not really, we basically, compared my index with what Jose would think it was the right way. Mm. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, very good. Okay, in that case, what about Edgar and Irvin? Can you share with us? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay, um, Irvin, Irvin is a, uh, oh. Irving, Irving is important. Uh, it is important to establish a manual training uh, order order for each of the employees. And first dress uh, call is necessary to identify customer, in customer plan, customer employees, and and second uh, priority is. Uh, um, the the, uh, the 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 training up about tips and and taxes okay but did you give suggestions on how to change it how to improve it yeah yeah so yeah. did you say for example it would be better to oh, right? or, okay. yeah uh-huh okay, so if you okay. can use those 
Um, teacher, I uh -huh. would think that normal in El Salvador, if you have a company like the restaurant, mm -hmm. the loves, the loves, how to move later, the loves, I say the loves, the loves, you have to sell, you have to sell uh, industrial security. Yeah, this is the loves in El Salvador, and um, this is the center for the accident prevention and the safety. Because in the restaurant, maybe the possibility is uh, we can have a explosion or a fire in the cook. That is sure. In the what? In the cook. In the coop. Cook. Yes. Cook. Cook. Yeah. In the in the kitchen? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Okay. Yes, in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. In the, in the server, you have the law about the industrial security. And in the book, the, the students say accidental prevention and safety. This is so important in, in, in the restaurant company or in, in the in, the, in the restaurant industry. This is the name. Okay, teacher? Okay, got it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, guys. All right, very good. Okay, so now we have been able, we've had a chance to be able to practice the that it would be better and any other alternative um, suggestions. What we're going to move on to right now, if you can see my PowerPoint, you can see my PowerPoint. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, so we're going to be creating a survey. Actually, you know what? Um, let me just make sure about something. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment because it's right nine o'clock on the dot and I need to take your attendance. Okay. So let me do that first. Okay. Okay. So. Um, okay, so Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Habit. Present teacher. Okay, great. Andres. Present teacher. Great. Um, Dennis. Dennis. Uh, then in Orlando, no, right? Okay. Um, Edgar? Uh, present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Eddie Jorleni? No, right? Irvin? Irvin? Present teacher. Present okay, teacher. great. Fabiola? Guess not. Heidi? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Irene? No, I read no. Okay. Um, Ivan Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Great. Juan Francisco. No, right. Uh, Jerry. Okay. Uh, Luis. Okay, uh, Manuel Alejandro, I guess not, right? Natalia? Natalia, no, okay. Uh, Wendy? Wendy? Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Excellent. Uh, Edgar Enriquez? No, Eli, uh, Jose Montes, Jose Montes. Hmm, I guess he's having internet problems, I guess, or something like that. Okay, um, and Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right, great, excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. 
Can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes, the tree. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to be creating a survey. First of all, we have a question. Is there a quality department in your in your workplace? Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Yes, the tree. Every single call. Okay, I'm, I'm sure they do. So you're going to be discussing these two questions with your partner. And if you, if they, you, if they do monitor, um, I want you to talk about, you know, your experience, you know, do they, you know, are they very strict when they monitor? Um, what do they, what do they evaluate? You know, et cetera, how often do they do it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm going to send you back to your groups and you're going to be discussing those two questions. Okay, do we understand the questions? Yes? Repeat, please. Okay, so I'm going to show you again the two questions. So you're going to be discussing those two questions with your partner. I'm going to send you back to your to your group or with your partner, and you're gonna be discussing those two questions. If the if there is a quality department that evaluates you, I want you to share your experience. So you can talk about how often they monitor you, what do they evaluate, are they very strict, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Sounds good? Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm going to send yes. you to your breakout rooms. Um, I'm just going to be changing a few people uh, because uh, some people disconnected, I think. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to open up the rooms. that process and yes they monitor and evaluate evaluate the the procedures on how to place an order there are things that uh, are prohibited for us for example to take a credit card number information so they are monitoring all of those things when they evaluate and they are listening our calls in my workplace that is the way how it works i don't know if you have a quality department we don't have a quality department but there is a a person that make that that function so at the beginning of the year i have to make a annual plan so the she is monitoring all the year all my work. Ah, okay. So she is in the plan. There are many departments, for example, the Department of uh, Safety is in charge to evaluate, uh, for example, uh, uh, preventions or all the procedures that uh, have to prevent any accident or insecure conditions. Uh, for example, human resources is in charge to evaluate something about order, uh, cafeteria, uh, for example, 
when you need the permissions, all the procedure of about that area, but quality control is only uh, in charge for the for evaluate uh, the appearance of the garments that we saw. It's only that. And you, you don't have um, any um, uh, department, for example, is in charge to evaluate that you follow the procedures of, of prevention or the schedule. I, I don't know if uh, any department uh, is, is in charge about that, that point. Oh, if you, you need a permission, I don't know. Is uh, in my case, on my company it is not uh, the control, but uh, in, in, yeah, in my workplace, I very a few departments uh, of quality. Uh, in the IT area, have have a uh, quality and assistance department, and the people of product and marketing have um, or own department of quality of product and. Uh, auditory or auditory department make their the revision of uh, internal control and they all all the time mon, uh, mon, 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 monitoring mon, monitoring and evaluate all the procedure on on the bank In your case? In my case, it's different because we don't have a quality department. Um, because uh, in I work in a school and oh. they have um, a different coordinators. Um, I don't know, sub principal, no sé si es correcto, sub directores, sub principals or coordinators. Uh, lower school, primary, and, and upper school. I work in lower school. Probably and we have like vice presidents. Sorry? Vice presidents. Instead of like sub principals, it would be like a vice president. Vice oh. president, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. um, the, my, my, my boss, our uh, vice president, um, supervising and monitorea, money. It's complicated. Uh, word. Monitor. Monitor. Uh, supervise all the activities um, that we need to, to prepare for the for the kids for teach and the plan of the class and that's the reason oh, that's great yeah it's not it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad because like i told you you only have to take two weeks take a passing thinking course and that's gonna be okay okay that's not good yeah, that's the reason that not only quality uh, department evaluate, if not your TL evaluate too. Okay. My thing is, is all for the quality department. What do, what do you think about it? There's two, two questions. Or what? Was only two questions is if in your company have a 
quality department and what the quality department review. Quality department review. Yeah, uh, the quality, um, the procedures, um, I think something like that. Okay, the quality department evaluate you uh, on my on my company. They evaluate if you make a good reading, then if you follow the call flow, uh, how you assist the customer, uh, how you made the process, and then you have to make a recap about what was the reason of the call. And then you only have to say goodbye to the customer. What happens when customers are angry or talk in, uh, in abuse uh, language? Yeah. OK. You, you don't have to curse. <laughs> you have to handle, you have to continue to talk with them. Uh, always polite, because if you don't talk polite with them, so that is a red flag. So the red flag is a one penalty that the account pay to uh, maybe the sub the sort contractor. So the penalty I heard that was by five thousand, I guess. When you make a, a mistake on the on on an account on a call. Wow. So, so that's like a big mistake. Yeah, not like a big mistake, but you pay a penalty uh, high for the big mistake. So there are ten thousand. So yeah, and that cause that you be removed from the account. So yeah, if, well, if you're gonna cost if you're gonna cost the 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 company five thousand dollars, I would I'm <laughs> sure they're gonna remove you from the account. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. They need to remove uh, from the account, and you have to make other tests to be. Uh, you have to make other tests to pass to other account. If you don't pass, they will are you wow yeah that's right so that's the reason that it's really important that you need to be focused on every call yeah. do you remember the name of the software that you use in your company me the name the name the name it's that we got a lot of, of, of programs. Our principal one is, is called COBIS, oh, which COVID. means Cooperative Open Banking Information System. It's the principal, but we use a lot of a lot of programs. Yes. And yes, yes we do CRM. We do use it. Mm -hmm. I don't use it. Okay. I don't use it. I am a slow as a as, small as, as small business. I don't. I, I, I do it all mm -hmm. I have my I have camera, no. Um, the phone. I listen, but but speak with with my coach, my my, my staff. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Three persons. No, no problem with the with the CRM. The, the software about CRM. Mm -hmm. In the in the in the business, you have to to type of software. The first is ERP, ERP, Enterprise Resource ERP. Planning. Yes, this is the one software, ERP. You can find the other name, okay? ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. And the second with the customer is the CRM, CRM, Customer Relationship Management. And the name is a commercial name, okay? The back using the a -C -R -M, um, a -E -R -P. for example asap is the is the one software asap hi wendy
Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I forget, forgot, I don't remember that is correct. Uh, today, uh, I have a class because my day, the, my, my weekend uh -huh. was very, very um, bad. <laughs> You have a uh, class because the weekend was bad? Yes, teacher. Um, what do you mean? No se lo voy a decir en español. Se metieron en mi casa y se robaron un montón de todo. Entonces, o sea, entre tantas cosas que estaba, se me olvidó totalmente que teníamos clases, teacher. Entonces, eh, de hecho, ahorita ando todavía así como que un poco distractil. Yeah. Entonces, Sorry. hasta que comencé a ver todos los mensajes que estaban y yo, Ish, tengo clase. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad you were able to connect. Um, are you all right? Um, no, teacher, but um, I try. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I can I can only imagine. Yeah, but 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 they didn't do anything to you, like you personally, like they didn't, didn't do do any harm to you. No, okay. no, no, no. My, my family is okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, your family is okay. Not it's just material losses. Okay, okay, yeah. I I know. I mean it's, I mean it hurts, right? But at least at least you are okay. That's the important thing. Yeah, okay. Um, were you in the house when that happened or? Yes, in this moment, uh, I stay in my house. No, and I... today, today is, uh, bueno, ahora vinieron a asegurar las puertas y a arreglar varias cosas. I mean, were you in the house when that happened? When they robbed the house? when? Were you in the house? Ah, no, 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 no. Eh, no estábamos acá, estábamos fuera. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Thanks a good because eh, I don't, I don't, eh, when I think eh, I stay when stay in my house in this moment, I don't know what happened. Yeah. So sorry, Wendy. I'm very sorry to hear that. But um, yeah, those are things that unfortunately happen, and it's not just—it's not just in our country. It happens all over the world in different places. You know that things like that happen. So, yeah. But you know, the I know it hurts and everything, but material things you can make them again, right? The important thing is that nobody got hurt in your family. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to bring everybody back. Okay, so I'm going to close the breakout rooms right now. Um, I mean, any moment now. Okay, guys. All right, so um, what we're going to do, um, now that you've had a chance there to talk to your partner, um, we're going to do the following. Okay, so we've talked about these two questions. Now, the instructions are the following. Complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the box, right? The words in the box are the following. Seated, dishes, dining, taking, and server. Do we understand this vocabulary? Seated, dishes, dining, taking, server. Do we understand this vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, everybody understands it? 
Yes, Adrian. Okay. So this is the survey. Okay. Like you can see, there are some there are some questions that have been completed. Like the server was able to answer all their questions. Overall, the service was excellent. But these ones here have a blank. In these blanks, I want you to complete using one of these words. Okay, so we're going to do this individually. Okay, so let's do oops, sorry. Let's do this individually. All right, and then we'll check as a class in a moment. Richard, do we need to uh, make the survey too with the one, two, three, and four? No. Option? No. No. Okay. Just completely right now. All I'm asking you to do is put these words here into these blanks. Yes. That's it. Okay. Okay. On. Only that. Okay. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we ready? Have we completed the blanks? Yes? Yes, and teacher. teacher. Okay, anybody need more time? No, okay, all right, let's complete it then. Let's do it all together. All right, first one. So, uh, we were mm, promptly Seated. seated. Okay, seated like this. Yes. Okay. All right, next. Yes. The server. So yes, was there to take our order quickly. Who? Server. 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 Good. The server was there to take our order quickly. Okay. All right. Yeah. Next, the server was friendly and patient when hey. taking like this. Yes. Yes. Okay, when taking our order. Okay. Our server coordinated the timing of the dishes. Timing dishes. Okay, dishes perfectly like dishes. this. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. The server was able to answer all our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our dining, 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 dining. like this. Yes, yes. good value. 
Yeah, like yes. that? Yes. Okay. All right. Anything you guys want, want to change before we check the answers? No? Okay. All right. And the answers are, we were seated promptly. The server was there to take our order quickly. The server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Our server coordinated the time of the dishes perfectly. The server, the server was able to answer all the questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. And that's also correct. All right. Okay. Any questions about the, the vocabulary here? Anything you want to ask about the vocabulary? Uh, the correct pronunciation to prom promptly. Okay. So prom okay. Uh, the pronunciation or the meaning? Uh, the meaning, I think, is a, a quickly response or a quickly solution. Exactly. Quickly. Promptly is quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And the pronunciation is promptly. Promptly. Prom promptly. Uh -huh. Promptly. Promptly. Okay. All right. Any other words? The meaning or the pronunciation? No, teacher, thank you. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the server was evil, evil pronunciation. No. Um, the, the, the sentence in five. The server able. was a, able. Able. Uh, able. Able. Yeah. A, able. Able. Okay. Thanks. Yes. You're welcome. Teacher. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a server and a waiter? Um, the waiter sometimes may just wait on the table, but not um, serve, right? May, maybe just, but um, the server will obviously, like sometimes some people will be the server and the waiter at the same time. Some people will just be the server, right? The server is literally the person that delivers the food, right? So some, some waiters just take the order and then there's somebody else that serves the food. But sometimes the waiter will take the order and serve the food. So they are very similar in meaning, but I guess it all depends on what the tasks, what are the duties that they have to do. So if they only have to take your order, they're just waiters, okay? Uh, but if they have to serve the food too, they can also be servers. Does that make sense for you, Andres? Yes, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay, perfect. All right, so now that we have this, oops, sorry. I wasn't, I didn't mean to. Okay, all right, so now that we've, we've done this, um, all right, so what we're gonna do is the following. Oops. So we're going to be taking a survey now. Now, work in small groups. We're going to, I'm going to put you into small groups. We're going to make a different group. Join your assigned breakout room. A, think of the last restaurant that you visited. Okay, so the last time you went to a restaurant, where, when was it, where was it? Can you think right now the last restaurant you went to? Yeah? Yes. 
and and it, it I mean I, I prefer it to be a restaurant instead of like um like a fast food place where you know because we we, we need to know the service of the waiter too right so an actual restaurant not just a fast food place don't like think about like mcdonald's like somewhere you know where you can sit down and have someone wait on you ask your partners the questions in the survey okay so you're going to be you're going to be asking your partners those questions and of course you as well are going to answer the survey according to your opinion of the last time you visited a restaurant Okay, all right, so you're asking them and then they are gonna also ask you and you have to answer. So once again, you're, we're going to be doing this um, survey and this time you're gonna be completing. Now, strongly agree means you're gonna put a one, right? You strongly agree, okay? So, uh, sorry, sorry, this is strongly disagree. So it means no, I, I, that the answer is a definite no. And then disagree, you're like, mm, you know, it's a no, but you know, it's not completely a no. Then agree is like, it's a yes, but you know, it's not, it's like a so-so yes. And then strongly agree, it's like, I definitely agree. Okay. All right, so we understand what we're gonna be doing? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Let's um, get you guys into groups, small groups. Um, and I'm going to give you, yeah, about 13 minutes. I think you should be able to do it. Um, and we're going to have, yeah, three or four people in each group. OK, so let's open the rooms. Okay. You're gonna to have to ask each other. Oh, I have, I have the 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 squared right now. So, where were where were certain problem? Uh, uh -oh. in in my ex experience in in, in your rest, opinion. In, in a restaurant. Yeah, uh, that's right. Agree. Agree. Let's see. This is number uh, number two. Four. Oh, number four. Yeah, number four. Um, what about you, Heidi? What was your experience on the last restaurant? Uh, I strongly agree. I strongly we agree. See the profit. Mm -hmm. oh. And you guys, oh, but you say, and you guys can talk about your experience as well. So not just like you know, you don't have to limit yourself to just giving the number. Actually, you know, give more information if you can. Um, you know, talk about that experience. Like, why do you answer with a one or a two or three or four? Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Let us know. I agree to the next one is the server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Anna? Um I strongly I strongly agree. Erwin? Agree. Um, guys, I don't want you just to limit yourself to giving a number. Talk about your experience. Like, why do you give a one? Why are you giving a three? Like, um, okay. you know, talk about it. You know, don't just limit yourself to numbers, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. 
Okay, we will start again. So, Anna, why do you strongly disagree with? For me, I strongly agree. And for me, the last one, considering everything, our dinner experience was a good value. Yes, for me, the, the lunch, I strongly agree with that. That the last experience I had with the Panda Express. Who's the next? Um, I would Aiba. Before uh, okay. I continue, um, I just wanted to mention something. I don't want uh -huh. you to limit yourself to giving a number. Talk about your experience. Why do you give just a one? Why are you giving yes. a three, right? So just like actually uh -huh. have a little of a conversation, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, 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 well. Last Saturday, I was dinner with my family to the Pampa, the volcano. Oh! I went. I went for dinner. I went. I went. Oh, thanks, teacher. I went because I. It was on my. Your birthday. No, anniversary. 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 Uh -huh. Wedding anniversary or? Wedding, wedding anniversary. A oh. little year of happiness wow. with my beauty wife. <laughs> also, congratulations. Wow. How many years? Congratulations. And How many years, Ivan? 11 years. 11 years. He's sleeping. <laughs> 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 Um, um, awesome. it experience, well, um, thanks. Uh -huh. And the ex dining experience, it was comfortable and the server was uh, pretty good. And Where you sit promptly? Yes. Promptly? Um, no, because it, the restaurant was full. <gasps> really? <laughs> How long yes. you wait for? Uh, I think my opinion uh, was the uh, promo night from ah. the UCA. Uh, it, it, there were a lot of people and, but ah. only was uh, 15 minutes I wait. Yeah. Remember I told you the server got immediately uh, to our arrival and, and told us to sit and order mm -hmm. and, and that we could go around the place and, and see the flowers and see everything. Remember I told you? Okay, yeah, I remember that. So I strongly agree. Okay. In my case, was I strongly agree too because like I told you guys that we were the only a group of group of people that were there. So they all the way all the servers when uh, were to move to the where we seated and to take the order. So what about you, Edgar? Um uh the there was uh there was a uh, the server was a waiter um the take 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 order take order uh, is is uh, is is qual is quality is quick quickly quickly and, and quickly and mm -hmm. very 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 uh, uh, polite and very polite. Okay, perfect. So I strongly agree. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What about you, Wendy? Well, in my case, it's two ways agree. Um, because uh, the restaurant is uh, more, uh, a little, uh, it's a little, and uh, the server is very quick. Mm -hmm. all, uh, all the time. It's agree. Agree I, or strongly? I strongly, strongly agree. I think I strongly agree with okay. Wendy. I agree. So not is agree, but I agree. I agree. Hmm? Oh yes, okay. sorry. That's okay. I agree. Uh, Wendy, your camera's okay? Yeah. 
Um, yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So, so um, we weren't able to see you. Okay, teacher. Perfect, thank you. All right, so continue, guys. Okay, so the question number three is the server was friendly and patient when taking or order. So what about you, Heidi? Uh, yes, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, Erwin, what restaurant? Busy, uh-huh. Um, okay. For me, uh, I so difficult order because I don't visit the restaurant. I don't know. You don't visit restaurants at all? Mm -hmm. And many years ago, I don't visit the restaurant. Only the fast food. <laughs> the fast food in the drive. Yeah. So, so <laughs> you never go to like, uh, any restaurants like to celebrate something, for example? Teacher, I am a single. I live alone. No, but with I, a doggy. With, with, with a doggy. <laughs> no, with a doggy. Like, for example, with your friends, like you don't go out with your my friends. Friend, my, my friend is all like me. Hey, oh. my, fr my friend only wants to drink, 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 drink. Yeah. Oh my. That, that. Yeah. That liver is not going to last for a long time. <laughs> if you're just drinking, drinking, drinking. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no, no. No different. My, my, my life is so different. But, but I am relaxed. So you're you you and your friends never go to a restaurant to I many years ago when I for example? No. no. Many years ago when I had girlfriend, many years ago. I visited all the restaurant, but uh, 10 years ago, okay. Okay, do you remember that experience? Yeah, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Six, oh, yes, yes, I think. Four years, four, eight years ago, yeah. Okay. Only I, 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 buy, I buy the fast food, only that. The, okay. So, for example, you've never been like, uh, I don't know, just because it's a very famous restaurant. Uh, Pizza Hut, you, you've never gone to Pizza Hut? To, to call, to call, to call. Huh. I call delivery. It's really okay. easy. So you, ne you never go into the, the restaurant to eat? No. Huh. Okay, okay, fair enough. When I was, when I was, when I was a dog, yes. But I'm a dog. 49 years old. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, just I just I'm just curious. Continue, <laughs> and I'm not here. <laughs> and what about you, Josue? The last restaurant I visited was at Portal de la Huela just that at night. And it was a good experience. Is uh, good food and. Uh, it was a good experience because the server was polite and the price is um, it's not high. Is uh, I think it's the uh, how do you say uh, lo? Como no es muy caro, it's not expensive, but you know. El servicio y la calidad creo que es un precio razonable, justo. I, I, I don't know how to say it in English. But... Just price. Just price. Yeah, it's I a think. just price. It's a, just price. You say it's reasonable. A reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable. Yes, reasonable. Razonable. Uh -huh. Razonable. Yeah. Reasonable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the reason, I think it was a good experience. Okay. And what about you, teacher? Do, do you visit restaurants? I don't visit restaurants. Over said I haven't visited restaurants lately. 
lately because uh, because of the whole pandemic thing. I don't go out very often. Mm -hmm. I do I, I do visit restaurants sometimes, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I I go like with my friends. Sometimes we go to to restaurants. Um, uh, and my well, I, my my favorite restaurant is actually a, a taqueria. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. and it's actually Mexican. Yeah, Mexican food. Mexican food, but you know what? I'm not very much into Mexican food. I what I like is just the burritos there. I really really mm -hmm. like the burritos in that place. Um, that's the only thing because I'm not really that much into Mexican food. Um, I probably prefer more pastas. I love pastas. Okay. All right, guys. Um, you finished? Yes. yes. Finished. All right. Um, I'm just going to check that the other groups are finished and we'll see each other in the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay. okay. My day off is on December. December. Hi, sorry. Yes. To Hi. Sorry, sorry to uh -huh. Um, are you guys finished? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. I'll see you guys. We only champion the only. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, see you guys in a moment in the meeting. Okay, see you. Present teacher. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, guys, what was your overall experience? Did you give lots of fours and threes or mostly twos and ones? Most three and four. Threes and fours? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good, good. What about the others? Trees and forests, more uh, uh, trees. Sorry, it's a good service, but no, are excellent. Okay, okay, that's okay. That happens too, right? But threes and fours are good. Okay, good. Anybody gave a one and a ones and twos? No, nobody gave ones and twos. No. Okay. Okay. Good because we wanted to know and so we wouldn't have to go to that place, <laughs> right? Okay, good. All right, now we're gonna do the last activity that we have programmed for today, which is this one right here. So. It's, it's a game, teacher. It's a what? It's a game. Mm, no, no. Okay. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> Uh, join your assigned breakout room, work in pairs, discuss the following questions with your classmates, report your ideas to the class. Okay, so we have uh, these questions that I want to discuss with your partner. Are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are following in the restaurant? Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places? Sorry, do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow these procedures? So discuss those two questions with your new partner. Okay, so let's make our, our um, give me a moment. I'm gonna get you guys into breakout rooms again with a new partner. Okay. And okay, here we go. We're opening the rooms.
shirts are followers in following in the restaurant what do you think about it the service is a good way to ensure uh, their pictures are following in the restaurant i think sure. for me i think it's is no a good way to make sure because uh, the customer don't sure about the they have a correct proceeds or process uh, for the for service and and, and the all uh, the teens and and step in the, in a restaurant they great or they do in the in the correct way but it's a, a good way to be sure to the the waiters or the staff uh if a great job for for the customers i think but not sure about the prestige okay uh, in your in my case um is uh, yeah Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think that so the question all, all, all being how to listen the customer and to be the to will be better than now. Yeah, I think um, it's a good way to make sure that procedure following the restaurant because customer uh, talk about her experience and if if they are aren't agree with some procedure, the company or the restaurant can uh, do the change uh, the procedure. Yes, and uh, in the company, but I see that all company have to to change the process in the in the future because all things that you do, you can do good or better in the future, yeah? I'm yeah. um, sorry to interrupt, but Irvin, um, okay. I have you scheduled for our one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, so letting you know that today is your turn. Yeah. Okay? Okay. The one-on-one the -on -one session, so you can say after the class. Okay. Okay? All right, okay. Continue. Okay. Ten o clock, teacher. <laughs> I know. I went to sleep. No me sale. Lo que pasó con con José Monte. Okay. All right. See you guys in the main room. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I hope you had a chance there to talk to your partner. Uh, what we're gonna do right now, since it's already 10 o'clock, I'm just going to quickly take our attendance. Tell me, please, if you are here. Um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Javid. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Dennis Orlando, I guess not. Edgar Menjivar. Uh, present teacher. Okay, great. Edith Jorleni. All right. Uh, Irvin. Present teacher. Good. Fabiola. Teacher. Guess not, right? Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Irene. 
Irene? No? Okay. Um, uh, Ivan? Present, sir. Okay. Uh, Josue? Present, sir. Okay. Juan Francisco? No, right? Jury? No. Luis? No, right? Manuel? No. Natalia? No. Wendy? Present. All right. Warner? Warner? Warner is not here. Uh, Yvonne? Present. All right. Uh, Edgar Enriquez? Eli? Jose Montes? And Jose Ayala? Present, teacher. All right, good, excellent. Okay, guys, so that will be all for today. I will see you guys um, tomorrow, okay? okay. Um, so take care and I'll see you guys. Um, make sure that you will finish off your platform for tomorrow. I mean, the, the, second, the second unit. And the midterm is for tomorrow too? It's also for tomorrow, yes. The midterm okay. is also for tomorrow. So make sure okay. that you will have both of those things done by tomorrow. So okay. today, okay? All right, okay. guys, that's it. Um, just um, staying with Irvin and that's it. Take care, see you tomorrow. See you, bye-bye, good night, thank, thank you. you. Only one question. Until when the homework went hand and it will complete? You have until tomorrow midnight to complete it. Until when? Tomorrow midnight. midnight. Yes. Okay. Unit, unit and, and the midterm. Okay. So until which? No uh, problem. Mm -hmm. Until which uh, point? Uh, all, eleven. Of, all of unit two. All of unit two. Yeah, so it's two point fourteen, I think, the last um the last homework from from unit two. Okay. okay. So you have to do up to unit two point two point fourteen, and mm -hmm. the term you have until tomorrow. Okay, perfect, teacher. Thank yes, you for sir. that information. Have a nice day. You too. The rest of the day. <laughs> the last teacher. two hours. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, yes, Wendy. Teacher. Uh, you can then uh, send me uh, the link for the platform because I lost my computer and uh, I don't I don't have a link for it, the platform. It's in your uh, it's in your email. It's in su correo electronic. Yes, teacher, but yes, teacher, but in this moment I can't uh, go to the email because uh, my computer is lost. And in my Sorry cell phone, you. it's difficult. Um, and I don't know, explain. Okay, okay. Uh, you just need the link for the platform. Yes, uh, solamente como para buscarla en la web. I will try to see if I can. Okay. I guess okay. it's in the WhatsApp uh, message. I'm going to look for it also, and I will try to send it to you. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, gracias. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. See, See you then. The Thank you, Anna. I know. Appreciate it. Bye. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Is that? Can I help you with something? Sorry, teacher. <laughs> good night. Oh, okay. <laughs> Problem. All right. Take care. Okay. All right, Irvin. What can I help you with? Me va a regañar, teacher. No, no, no. Me va a regañar. No, esto es, esta es una sesión para que usted me haga cualquier um, pregunta, dudas que tenga. Y estamos hablando en general, no estoy hablando acerca solo de la clase, sino que en general... Eh, preguntas que se le ven a la mente en cuanto al inglés, algo que usted quiera repasar, cualquier cosa. Gracias, teacher. Me cuesta estudiar inglés. ¿Le cuesta? Ah. Oh, estoy en otro mundo. No se puede Cuénteme, Cuénteme no se... qué es lo que le cuesta. Mire, teacher, es que el problema, el problema es que yo estoy en otro sintonía, pero me cuesta. Un ejemplo sencillo. 
¿Cómo sí? ¿A qué se refiere cuando dice que está en otra sintonía? Ya estoy, señora. Ya tengo ah. 49 años. Ok. Cuando vi la oportunidad del inglés nuevamente, Ajá. me puse muy feliz. Me Ajá. puse muy feliz. Porque estudié inglés cuando, antes que usted naciera. ¿Y usted cómo sabe cuándo nací? Ya. Cuando <risa> estudiaba inglés. Entonces, yo estudié inglés, imagínense que en el 90, 1990, uh -huh. había sacado el grammar. No llegué al TOEFL en el Centro Cultural. Uh -huh. Entonces, no solamente es el inglés, sino que mi vida es diferente porque yo soy profesor, soy catedrático. Yeah. Entonces siento un gran cambio, siento un gran cambio cuando estoy acá. Pero cuando vi la oportunidad, me gustó, porque si lo, a mí me urge. Lo hago por hoy sí lo hago por necesidad. Okay. Le doy un ejemplo sencillo. Yo me trabo cuando hablo. Me trabo. Mi pronunciación es mala. Me recuerdo. I remember when I was a young, I can pronounce how is the English correct. Uh -huh. Pero yo sé que mi pronunciación es horrible y me da pena. No, no, Urban. Ok, yo creo que... Todo sí, lo, lo, un ejemplo, lo, lo un ejemplo sencillo. Ahorita en lo que estábamos nosotros, uh -huh. yo para pedir las baterías de China, yo traigo de moto, lo hago en inglés. Uh -huh. Entonces, es otra historia, ya me comprende, porque la, la muchacha que se llama Charo, ya habla horrible de inglés, me toca entender a la Charo. Entonces, ya me comprende. Y cuando yo viajé a Estados Unidos, la última vez que viajé, fue horrible, renté el carro, y me dijeron, Vaya a ser el tercer nivel a recoger el carro. Yo feliz, no, era el primer nivel. Qué vergüenza. Y entonces yo pensé, cuando tenga tiempo, voy a estudiar inglés. Y ese es el problema. Yo quisiera decir todo lo que... Cuando usted dijo, mire, de los programas de... Yo, y que, quería expresar, hay programas de CRM, de, 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 de RP. Me cuesta acordarme cómo se pronuncian las cosas. Ok, pero tenga paciencia consigo mismo, Irvin. Acuérdese, usted mismo lo acaba de mencionar. Este es su primer curso después de mucho tiempo. Entonces, no espere que, que en su primer curso todo se le va a venir a la mente de una sola vez. No, esto es algo que tiene que, o sea, darse la oportunidad a sí mismo eh, de ir recordando, poco a poco se va a ir recordando. Si usted llevó, llegó anteriormente a un nivel alto, entonces ahí está la información, ahí está, está guardada, solo que necesitamos reactivarla, ¿verdad? Pero ahí está, pero no, sé, eh, no sea tan, um, tan duro consigo mismo. Eh, acuérdese, o sea, eso es por etapa. Usted, 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 profesora, usted habla tan bonito. Me encanta cuando habla. Hasta dije yo, voy a decir que venga aquí, lo voy a pagar para que venga a darme clases personalmente. Se lo juro. Porque, porque yo me siento trabado. Trabado. Miren, es otra historia. Otra historia. Y ya, y también viene un poco de ego profesional. Imagínense a mí. Gracias a Dios que la materia que estoy dando ahorita en la Matías, porque soy catedrático de la, de, de la Matías de Mercado, gracias a Dios, hoy solo tengo un grupo. Solamente una hora voy a fallar un poquito, pero creo que el viernes es un poquito. Gracias a Dios, porque a veces no tengo grupos y me vuelvo loco. Uh -huh. Pero yo me trago, me trago. Vaya, pero como le vuelvo, le vuelvo a recalcar, eh, eso es algo normal que le va a pasar. Le va a pasar al principio. Eh, es como, piénselo como, como un carro, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasa cuando un carro ha estado ahí guardado por mucho tiempo? Digamos, no arranca, meses. Ya no arranca, ya. Es, no imagínense arranca. que meses, meses que ha estado guardado. ¿Qué va a pasar? O quizás un año ha estado ahí guardado. Nada que se ha encendido. ¿Qué pasa con el carro? Al principio, o sea, ajá, correcto, al principio cuesta que arranque, pero de tanto insistir, ¿Sabe de tarde de temprano empieza a arrancar, ¿verdad? ¿Sabes de cómo no estudio inglés? 
Ajá, sí, solamente que, que, que cuando arranca no, no, no funciona igualito que cuando, cuando, cuando estaba así todo, todos los días funcionando. Pero a medida que va el uso, otra vez, las partes como que se empiezan a destrabar. ¿verdad? Y entonces ya empieza nuevamente a correr como debe ser. ¿verdad? Y por supuesto con el mantenimiento también eso ayuda. Entonces es igual. O sea, ahorita pensemos que el motor de su, de, de, de su, de su memoria ahorita está arrancando. ¿Verdad? Lo estamos arrancando. Y ahorita quizás al principio, los primeros días estaba como que no, arranca, todavía no, ¿verdad? Y, a, y ahora sí arranca. So, lo único que, claro, como usted dice, puede ser que de repente se trabe, ¿verdad? Porque, porque no ha estado en uso, ¿verdad? Esa parte de la memoria, pero con el, entre más tiempos vaya pasando, más se va a ir recordando. Y, así que tiene que simplemente ser paciente. Eh, apenas estamos a la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? Y de aquí vienen todavía muchos otros cursos más, ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupe, no se preocupe poco a poco. Ahora, lo que sí es necesario es que usted vaya eh, activando. Y cuando le digo activando, no estoy solamente hablando aquí en la clase, sino que estoy hablando de que su vida diaria tiene que ir girando hacia eso. Um, por ejemplo, ¿qué es lo que usted escucha? ¿Verdad? Cuando, está, cuando escucha música o cuando escucha eh, películas, ¿con los, ¿en qué idioma lo escucha? Dicho, si lo digo en mi vida, no lo va a creer. Yo no tengo, no tengo televisión en mi casa. Yo no veo televisión. ¿Y radio? Escucho no. Yo solo creo de corazón. No parezco. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo fue? No parezco. Yo solo creo de corazón. Vaya, no pero. Tribula. Ok, vaya, pero podría. Pero ya. Ajá, voy a contar. Si mi vida más ácida. Mi casa, yo, estoy, yo vivo aquí de mi negocio a cinco cuadras. Llego a mi casa, me desconecto todo. Tanto así que mi televisión he comprado. Nada. Bueno, no tenía ni internet. Si puse internet hace poco, por la clase. Una vez la he ocupado, nada más. De eso no estoy acá. Porque mi mente, o sea, yo paso, de mi casa llego, me desconecto. Totalmente. Después vengo acá y me conecto. Si yo le contara mi vida como yo la he pasado, usted va a decir, no, es posible que exista eso. Entonces, una vida bien rara. Bueno, no, no, no pero, o sea, es, 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 le entiendo, le entiendo, pero, pero nunca es tarde para hacer cambios, Erwin. O sea, Oye, sí. eh, nunca, nunca es tarde. O sea, si usted es capaz de ahora de, de poner internet por la clase y conectarse y utilizar la plataforma, es porque usted está haciendo cambios en su vida y eso es positivo. Es Entonces, que inglés, es que el inglés, mire, el inglés, es, 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 eso va a creer que yo siempre lo siento como necesidad y más ahora, más ahora. Y eso que yo realmente no es tanto, pero es, es más que necesidad. Claro, sí, la, es... ahora, ahora ya se ha vuelto una necesidad. Entonces, ahora lo que usted necesita hacer es buscar maneras de poder tener más contacto con el idioma. Entonces, eh, vaya, usted dice no tengo televisor, pero ahora ya no es necesario utilizar un televisor para poder sí, sí. ver, por ejemplo, teacher, una película o teacher, una serie. Teacher, teacher, yo no veo nada de televisión. Okay. Dice, Ay, pero dice, por mire, vea, vea, usted, usted nunca ha visto a alguien que es totalmente, ¿cómo se llama? Ermitaño. Nunca o sea, ha tenido sí, usted. Sí, eh, sí, mira, sí. si usted llega, <ríe> llega a mi casa, es un show mi casa. Bueno, para decirle, ¿cómo es? Para, para decirle, si yo tengo la plaza y tengo las dos casas que tengo ahorita, una vivo yo y otra la alquilo, es porque mi mente solo pasa pensando en el negocio. Gracias a Dios, estoy tranquilo. Usted me pregunta a mí ahorita, si yo me jubilo, yo si quiero mañana no trabajo. Yo estoy jubilado prácticamente, me ha costado. Entonces, cuando llego a mi casa, yo me desconecto. 
y vivo solo. Y mira qué, qué, qué casa más rara la que yo tengo. Las casas todavía no, ni la he terminado de jugar. Así, así pasó yo. Okay. Entonces, el inglés para mí es fundamental. Pero sí estoy haciendo un gran esfuerzo por pronunciar bien. Y a veces me da pena con usted. Me da pena. No, Porque no, sí. no tenga pena. Es un, no, no debe de darle pena. Sí, sí el, 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 el punto aquí es de que estamos aprendiendo. Es como que usted le diga uh, uh, de que uh, vaya a donde un médico y, le, y, y necesite, usted tiene un problema de salud y entonces le dice al médico, ay, pero es que me da pena enseñárselo. Pero es que ese es el trabajo del médico. El médico tiene que revisarlo. Entonces no tiene que darle pena. Es igual la causa. Aquí el trabajo mío es ayudarle, así que no, no tiene que tener pena. Yo no, me, yo no me quejo de usted, una gran maestra. No me quejo. Me cuesta. A mí, quien, quien está trabado soy yo. Por ejemplo, me dice trabado. No sé no, cómo se pero... cómo, cómo se dice en inglés trabado, le dice eh, de profesora. Tac. Trabado. Tac. Tac. Sí, pero vaya, mire, yo creo que es una cuestión de, de cambiar como el chip, ¿verdad? El, el cassette. Entonces, en vez de pensar, ay, estoy trabado, estoy trabado, estoy trabado. Eh, piense en ah, ¿cómo me voy a destrabar? <ríe> Así, o sea, ah. vaya, 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 o sea, cambie eso de, de, de pensar algo negativo y, y, tor y tornelo en algo positivo. O sea, vea que en vez de ver el problema, vea la solución. Porque si usted se concentra en solo el problema, entonces eh, de ahí no va a salir, siempre va a estar trabado. Pero si usted dice, ok, bueno, me está costando, pero ¿qué voy a hacer para, des, para poder ser más, tener más fluidez? Pues voy a hacer esto, voy a hacer lo otro y voy a hacer cambios. Así como lo ha logrado hacer muchos cambios, puede lograr hacer otros más, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no se preocupe, no se concentre en el problema, ¿verdad? Sino que cómo lo va a solucionar. Yo creo que que si usted hace eso, va a ir muy lejos, porque muchas veces es cuestión de simplemente la manera como vemos las cosas. Así que pues yo sí, creo... Pues, yo le estoy haciendo ganas. Uh -huh. Sí, y no, yo sé, y se le nota. Se le nota. No, no, no tiene ni idea. Mire, yo soy fumador. Mira qué problema con usted acá con usted. Me pongo, me pongo a fumar usted. Por eso quito la cámara. Porque, o sea, mire, es otra historia. Para alguien podrá ser sencillo, pero para mí es complicadísimo. Yo quedaría por decir, mire, tengo 25 años, me vale, voy a estudiar inglés como normal. Uh -huh. Pero no, me, me cuesta. Yo lo sé. Esto sí, voy, a hacer grande, voy a seguir haciendo el esfuerzo. Ahora, no, no sé si voy a pasar. Sí, tampoco, y lo, lo, lo felicito porque eh, sí ha hecho mucho, o sea, se nota su, el esfuerzo que usted hace, se nota, eh, es una persona muy aplicada, participa mucho en clase, así que lo felicito, siga así, que si usted continúa así, va a llegar lejos y va a lograr lo que usted tanto desea, pero téngase paciencia, eso le puedo decir. En, y como digo, y, y concéntrese en cómo va a solucionar el problema y no tanto en que pensar, ay, pero es que a mí me cuesta, ay, pero es que mi pronunciación aquí y allá, o es que me trabo. En vez de, de pensar en todas esas cosas negativas, piense en lo bueno que está, ha logrado, piense en las cosas que ya logró hasta este punto que no hacía usted antes, ¿verdad? Y cómo usted puede solucionar eh, um, esos problemitas que tiene ahorita cómo los puede llevar a para, para que lo logre al final y yo creo que si usted hace eso you're gonna do great ok Thank you, yeah Gracias. you'll see it by the end of the class you'll see your but, but sorry by the end of the course you will see that you will have uh, grown so much and you will have you will have achieved that goal that you want okay okay thank you teacher all okay. right okay take care Irvin. it's been a okay. pleasure see you tomorrow don't forget to complete the platform okay yes. tomorrow we'll two okay. and the midterm okay okay teacher. all right see ya you, you're welcome thank you, teacher.